What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have a Jojo character. We have Echoes Act 3 from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Did I say that already? Yes, I think I did. Jojo. So, Koichi's Stand. So, named after one of the best Pink Floyd albums. Well, I think it's named after Echoes by Pink Floyd. is fantastic album. Um, um, if, you, if you're not into Pink Floyd, you should get into Pink Floyd now. Stop watching this video and listen to Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's enough music plugs. So I'm on a white page, um, just to fit in like his shoulders and stuff. So yeah, we'll start with his eyes. So we're about halfway, maybe a little bit above the halfway line, like a tiny little bit. And we're gonna start with his top eyelid. So I'm gonna start about here. Uh, so like here, yeah. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna go diagonal up, kind of a bumpy eyelid line, kind of curves a little bit. Curves up and then down and then kind of back up a little bit. So it's kind of got a little wave to it. Kind of goes up and down. And then it's gonna curve around like so. And we'll bring that underneath. Curving around nice and wide, kind of big sort of bug eyes, you know, kind of real big. Up to here and into the corner. Like that. And of course, Echoes Act Tree has these curved lines on them. I'm surprised he doesn't have a stand called Dark Side of the Moon yet. Because that's Pink Floyd's best album. Or maybe he doesn't think it's Pink Floyd's best album. Controversial. Right, so the other eye, just over here. Like so. We're closer than eye distance now, because his eyes are like crazy big. So we're just a little bit closer than the width of his eye. Okay. So we do sort of the same sort of Top eyelid line, kind of curve it, bump it up at the end, and then we're going to bring it down around like so. And bring it underneath. So there. And then we have those lines inside. Like so. Okay, so then Echoes has sort of brow lines that come up around his eye and some come down and then all these balls in the center of his head. So we'll do the brow lines first. So it's kind of like kind of like an eyebrow. So it kind of comes in here, both sides. It's kind of like a frown line as well. Okay, and then it's, we'll go up to the other corner of his eye and then we're gonna bring it out and around, so it's going to come out like this, back up to there, and then it has a bump for like his temple, just there. We do the same thing kind of over here, come out from the corner, like so, up to here, and then up to there. So now he has one, two, three, four, five sort of about these symbols or something, these bumps just coming out the center of his head. So they're like ovals. So one starts here. So it's an oval or just like a long circle or an egg shape just here. Kind of looks like a nose. But then the next one, right close to it. They don't quite touch, but they're very close to one another around like so, two, ba -ba. third one, fourth 
fourth one, they kind of so they, they start to go around the back of his head. So these are kind of longer and they get a bit stumpier here because they're curving around the back of his head. So they might get a bit like smaller looking or like wider, you know, kind of stumpier. The last one that's going right around his head will be real small. A real sort of stumpy. Like flatter, I guess is the word maybe I'm looking for. I like that. So these are kind of longer and this gets a bit shorter and squished down to there. And then it has all those lines. And remember guys, use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. You can rub out mistakes with a pencil, but with a marker, you kind of have to start again. So, which I have done many times. Okay, so then he has um, just like an edge line coming around this. So it kind of comes out from the top here, pumps around each one. So you're just kind of tracing the edge down into the bottom one. And this one curves around finally. And then we go up the other side. Like that. Right, so, so his lip, so his like mouth is open in this. So we have, so we have a line like here, curves down, back up. It's kind of the center line for his mouth, like that. You can leave it like that if you want it. Um, but this one looks like it's open. I'll draw it as it is in the picture. Or will I leave it like that? Let's see, we'll do his bottom lip. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's not bad. The one in the picture looks like he's like, I don't know, he's got a weird mouth shape. I'm going to leave it like that. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just talking to myself. And then he has sort of lines coming around his eye. There. Some coming out this side. Like that. And then these are going to come down to his jaw. Okay. But I'll do that when I draw on the jaw first. Because if I do them too long, the jaw will be wrong. And out this side. So there's there's like it, it's like t a tear line coming down both sides. It's not a tear line, but it looks like it coming down to his chin and his jaw. And his chin is just here, right? And then this is going to come to his jaw. Go this way. Go up the other side. And then change direction, go up the side of his head. So he doesn't have hair, so that's gonna join the rest of his head up there. Well, I'll just stop it there and then I'll do these lines coming down here. So we'll just add them in, like so. And then the other side, Curve down this side. Like so, and then we'll do his head. So, we'll bring it up this side. Bring it up this side. And then we have like lines that go in. So, yeah, there's like gaps in his head or something. So like this comes into here, comes back up, and then comes out to there. And then the head kind of keeps going and then there's a line, but there's a line like in here. And then we go up, so like here, and then there's another gap in there, back around. And then the head comes up and this is like 
dark inside there. And then his head will come up to here. Curve line. Like so. And it's pretty much the same thing on the other side. So this gap is up and there's a line in there. And then this comes up like so. And we have another gap in there. Up like that. Back down. And then back up to the top of his head. Like that. And then his ears. So his ears are just like cups. They're kind of just round sort of cups like this. So the top of the ear is up here along the forehead area and the bottom is just underneath his eye. And then we have kind of lines on that. So going all across like so. Next year, same thing. Lines coming down. Might make the ends a bit bumpier. Like so. Okay, so, right, so we can see his torso. So he's like a little toy figure. So he's got like, his chest comes down like that. And on the other side, we can see more of his shoulder. So it's like, it's not exactly the same. You could do it the same, but it's slightly different than the picture I'm drawing from. So that's like one side of his torso. The other side curves around for his shoulder. Like that. And then his chest is going to come across this way. So this is going to go diagonal like so. And then we curve it around for the bottom of his chest like this, and it goes back up towards the middle, like so, and then we bring it down the other side, and then we go back up, so we start to travel back up towards his shoulder now, up to about here, so just underneath the shoulder, there's a bit of a gap and we have some more of his arm, so like a curved line for his bicep just here. So then in here, in the torso section, we have some more lines. So we have a line for his neck. So it's like two diagonal lines coming down like so. And then we turn the corner, go back up the other way and up into his jaw there. And then this has like a rim or a collar as if he's wearing like a uniform or some clothes. And it kind of comes back up the other side. into here and then he has some more uh, symbols or raised sort of bumps like on his face just here they're kind of more pointy than the ones on his face but they do have those lines those curved lines like so Okay, there's another line on his chest that kind of just follows everything. It kind of goes around again, like this. It's kind of like separates the top of his chest from the underneath part. Kind of goes back into here. And there's a bit of a shadow, some lines like this. And there might be some shadow on this side of his neck as well, just in here. Uh, 
Okay, so we might as well finish this shoulder of his. So it's gonna go curve out here. And he has these green bumps and things on his shoulder too, except they're bigger. They're like big shoulder pads. So we have one that like sticks out this way. Curves around like an oval right there, sticking out on his shoulder. And then we have a line coming out here. And then we have its tricep. So that's gonna bump out like so. And we can see, right, so we can see his fist on, on this side of his hand. But we'll, fin we'll finish the arm first. So, let's see. So we have a curve line coming out this way. And we have those curve lines on these things, whatever they are. Just part of the character's design. And some more here. Kind of like this. And then, so the rest of his torso comes down this way. We'll finish his torso, and then we'll finish the hands, because the hands are always tricky. And then torso comes down here, comes in. Real narrow waist, just here and here. And then this comes in, and this will go in as well. And he has another symbol sort of here. Real long, real long pointy one. Like that. Curve line there, 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 there. And then some bumps coming around. Like some lines, like that. Another line for like his, what would be his rib cage if he has a rib cage. I don't even know if stands have rib cages. <laughs> and then like full lines, because this comes into like a loincloth type thing. The edge of that is going to go off the page down here. And we can see like the start of his other hand here, but we'll come back over. That's mostly his body, so like there's say another fold here. Like that. And then he's one hand here, another hand here. So he's like a, clenching a fist on this side. So let's figure this out. So take your time with hands. They're they're always tricky things to draw. So, right, we'll do the fist first, will we? Yeah, might as well, so. Right, so, knuckles, we'll do knuckles first. So just here, index finger, knuckle. Middle finger, knuckle. Ring finger, knuckle. And then little finger knuckle, just there. And then the little finger one, we'll curve it around, back down to there. And then it's gonna start to go back up. So we're gonna go back up this way, like so. And then this one will come back up around and up to his index finger, like so. And he has these like studs on the end of his knuckles here, like so. He's like got these things sticking off right here, they're round, kind of pointy on top, maybe, like so. They get kind of smaller down here. Small one here. And they might have a shadow on them. On the bottom of them, on this side. And 
and then the line's first finger. So we have a line coming down that way, a line coming down that way, another one coming down like so, and then some extra sort of knuckle lines just here, another one there, there, and again, shadow. So lots of shadow, darker parts. here shadow say here you're just kind of thickening up these lines basically like so and then his thumb is just here so sticks out clenching his fist the real square sort of thumb back in to his middle finger and then we've like a bump for his hand just here and a shadow on his thumb Right, so now we gotta try and join this fist up to the rest of his arm. So, all right, so we got, everything's foreshortened and that means like, all this stuff is like, looks more circular than normal. So it's like, when you look at something round and then you gradually turn it this way, it gets shorter and shorter in 2D space, that's what you gotta think. And then like, this all nearly disappears. Everything under here, you can't really see it. But you can see like a slight circle. It's the same with arms or anything, you know? It's all about perspective, man. So, this circle for his like, the end of his arm, comes out around here. Okay. Might have an extra bump here for his hand. And then like more shadow sort of around here. And this line will continue like up this way. And this will go around into his arm. Like here. And this is all dark down here. It's mostly dark anyway. So curving around, and this is gonna bump into his bicep line, just here, and curve around to there. And then we have like a bump here, connecting it to his bicep. So this curves into here, which will meet another curve. that and again this is pretty dark down here not totally black i think it could be another one of these jewel things yeah we bump and then this bump has to go the whole way around so like there so everything looks circular and kind of stumpier but that's that's what foreshortening does to things Join it up to his tricep. It's a shadow here. A shadow here. And then a shadow here, all on this end. Shadow. And there's a shadow going around his bicep as well, and he's got like an elbow pad here with some shadow. And the shadow on his bicep, as I said, so like coming up around here. Some lines going around his tricep. So, I might just darken this whole area up. Yeah. And then shadow here. All right, that's one arm done. So, next arm. So 
So we'll bring it out like so for the top of his shoulder and then start to go down. And then we're gonna hit another one of those ovals. Down around. Like so. So this arm, this arm is kind of turned into his body more. And this one's turned out. So then we got a bump here. And then kind of another bump here. These are kind of folds of his skin, I think. And then tricep, out like so. And then his bicep is just inside here, connected to his chest. And then we have some lines coming around his shoulder here. Like that. The lines inside. There. And the bicep, this bicep sort of jewel thing goes to there. Kind of meets meets his forearm just here, so this comes out like so and around. Like that. And then we have like a pointy elbow just in there. So another line here, and then some more lines on this stuff, just like that. And See there's shadow in here. And then the rest of his forearm. So come down like so. This comes down like so. Kind of looks like a lemon, the top of a lemon. <laughs> and then we have his wrist. Or the cuff of his wrist just here. It's like it's this round thing that we drew. But this one's facing towards us. This one, we can see the side of it. Like this, it goes around his hand. So it's gonna go like around the top of his hand, back down here. I can't fit the whole hand in, it's resting on his knee, but I'll draw in what I can see. So we have like a thumb sticking out there. This curves back like so. Up to there, and then we may have some join lines or something on his thumb here. And his finger is going to go down this way. And then the other side of his hand goes down here. And we have those studs along the knuckles again, so on there. there one goes down that way and the other one we can we can't really see it's all the way down down there so this finger then keeps going down that way this one goes down that way and that goes off there and then we have like a knuckle And of course, shadows everywhere. I'll do that in a minute. So, knuckle lines there. Some more lines going across his finger. Going across here. I think they're double lines actually. Like so. And shadow in here. So, big shadow all here. Shadow in the side of his thumb. And shadows coming down this finger. Shadow. Where, where, where? Up here. Shadow in here. Oh yeah, and a big green thing. With the lines on it. And there's like a line coming around that. Like so. And there's a shadow in here too. Okay, so I'll go ahead and color these in. And a couple of lines here. And 
the rest of the line for his knee comes out here. And it bent out around this way. Comes down like so. I think that's everything. Do, do, do. Yeah, I think that's it. Be another line there for, for the heck of it. But there you go. How to draw echoes by Pink Floyd. I mean, Echoes Act Tree <laughs> from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.